Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome every last one of you on tonight to this live broadcast where Jesus Christ is Lord of all, where God is still confirming the preaching of the gospel with signs, wonders, and miracles. Come on, let's put our hands together. Come on, church. Come on, put your hands together and help me give him a praise on tonight. Come on and help me give our God praise on tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Help me give him a praise on tonight. Help me give him glory tonight. Help me give him honor tonight. Oh, glory to God. He knows exactly what you need tonight. I said the Lord knows exactly what it is that you need on tonight. He knows exactly what you are, where you are. He knows what you are facing. And guess what? I believe God have answers for you on tonight. Because I know by the spirit of the living God, many of your backs are against the wall, but the Holy Ghost have answers for you tonight. God's going to give you a breakthrough. God's going to give you a turnaround. He's going to bring direction into your life. He will break the back of the enemy. Come on, put your hands together. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Come on and help me bless him on tonight. Come on and help me bless him tonight. Help me give him praise on tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy join our faith with everyone under the sound of my voice on tonight. God, you see the needs that's before you tonight. Don't miss one single person. Touch everybody. Give everyone a breakthrough on tonight. You are a prayer answering God. You said, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. Pour the Holy Ghost out on us tonight. We are hungry for a fresh move of the Holy Ghost God. Your mercies are new every morning. Yesterday was insufficient for today. We need a fresh touch, a fresh infilling of the Holy Ghost, a fresh breakthrough, a fresh word from heaven, God. Lift every burden tonight. Answer every prayer. Heal every sick body tonight. Bring answers tonight in the lives of your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody give him a praise and shout amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Great is he. Mighty God. Great is he. Come on. Who's the king of kings? Pick it up. And Lord of lords. He is one. That's it. Great is he. Great is he. Who's the king of kings and the Lord of lords he is wonderful sing it to the lord great is he who's the king of kings and the lord the lords come on and sing hallelujah sing it to him come on hallelujah come on church salvation and glory honor and power he is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is one. Great is he. Great is he. Who's the king of kings. Listen, I just got to say this got to get your eyes of your trouble tonight you got to get your eyes on the king tonight that's why we love to worship him you know when you begin to worship God that's protocol for coming into his presence he says in Psalms 100 come into his presence with singing when you begin to sing in the worship God it allows the Holy Spirit to bring you into the very presence of God and Psalms chapter 16 verse 11 says in the presence of God there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore 
The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, mountains melt like wax in the presence of God. That's one of the secrets to having the victory over your mountain is to come into his presence through worship. Because when you begin to worship God, mountains begin to melt away. Troubles begin to fade away. Answers begin to come. Breakthroughs happen. Healings happen. Miracles happen. Turnarounds happen. Come on, let's worship him on tonight. Sing it. Great is he. Great is he who's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is wonderful. Great is he. Great is he who's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is wonderful. Sing it to the Lord. Great is he who's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is one. Sing hallelujah. Come on church. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is wonderful. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. He is one. Sing hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. Come on, sing it to the Lord. Great is he. Great is he who's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is one. Great is he, great is he, who's the king of kings and the Lord, the Lord, he is wonderful. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power, he is wonderful. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power, he is wonderful. Sing hallelujah, church. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power, he is one. Come on, sing it to him with everything you got. Hallelujah, come on. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power, he is wonderful. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Oh, glory to God. Come on and help me give him praise if you believe in God. If you believe that God is able to do something on your behalf tonight. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Yes, come on and help me give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh God, we give you praise on tonight. Come on, just give him glory. Let's fill the atmosphere with the praise of God. Come on and praise him tonight. Oh, clap unto the Lord, all you saints. Let everything that have breath give him praise on tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Shakarababasa. Hallelujah. My God, I feel something stirring tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on and open your mouth and put your hands together. Help me give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords praise. Help me give him glory tonight. Help me give him honor tonight. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Glory to God. I worship you. I worship you. Come on. You are God. Sing it to him. 
You are God. You reign. You reign in majesty. You are God. Awesome God. Mighty God you are. You are the King of all the earth. Awesome God. Oh, sing it to Him. Jehovah, who is there like you? Mighty God you are. You reign all over the earth. Jehovah, no one else like you. You're an awesome God. You are holy. You are holy. Mighty God. Glorious. You are faithful. Your mercy is in your hearts. Jehovah, no one else like you. You're an awesome God. You are holy. You are holy. Mighty God. Glorious. You are faithful. Your mercy is in your hearts. Jehovah, no one else like you. You're an awesome God. Awesome, awesome God. Sing it to him. Awesome God. You're an awesome God. You are an awesome God tonight. God, we give you praise tonight. We give you glory tonight. Awesome God. You're an awesome, awesome God. Jesus, Jesus. You're an awesome God. Awesome, awesome God. Sing it to him. Awesome God. You're an awesome God. We love you, Jesus. Mighty God, I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. We love you, Lord. You're an awesome. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. Oh, you know I love you. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. Come on, put your hands together and help me give him praise. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. Lord, we love you tonight. Have your way, Master. Oh, we surrender to the Holy Ghost tonight. You're an awesome God. Oh. Mighty God you are tonight. Breathe on your people tonight, Jesus. Breathe on your people tonight. Let the Holy Ghost fall upon us tonight, God. Let the Holy Ghost fall upon us tonight, Jesus. Anoint us afresh, God. Lift burdens off your people tonight. Come on, Jesus. Yes, we love you, Lord. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. Come on, open your mouth and pour your hearts out to Him. Love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Love you, Lord. Come on and worship Him tonight. Yes, we love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. 
We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you tonight, Master. Our hearts belong to you, Jesus. We belong to you. Oh, we belong to you, Jesus. Come on, just worship him tonight. Come on, slip your hands up to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven tonight. Come on, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Yes, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. Come on and glorify him. Take your eyes of yourself tonight, church. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. He's alive. He's not dead. Our God is alive. Yes, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Master. We love you. We love you. Someone, listen. Keep playing. Someone with a deaf left ear just popped open. Someone with a deaf left ear just popped open. If you take your finger and close up your right ear, which is good, you would notice you can hear perfectly out of that left ear. I rebuke that deaf and dumb spirit. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Ekatalabasata. I felt the power of God go through somebody. Kandolobosha. Yibabasata. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Come on and worship him. We love you, Jesus. Open your mouth and help me worship him tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Yeah. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. 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 Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Glory to God. Listen, I'm feeling this. Someone with problems in the right eye, the Holy Spirit's healing you. I don't know if it's cataracts or glaucoma. All I know is the Holy Ghost is healing you in your right eye. I mean, you get a miracle. I've been feeling it for the last five minutes. The Holy Ghost is healing you in the right eye right now. Just lay your hands over that right eye and receive your miracle. I rebuke that blind spirit. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Shaka nalabasa. I take authority over that devil in Jesus' name. Loose the people of God. Take your hands off of them, Satan. You can't have them. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost which is on the inside of us. We belong to Jesus. We are bone of his bones and flesh of his flesh. You're an awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. You're an awesome God, mighty God, you are tonight. Have your way, have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Shata bada bahasata rabando luboko saya. Have your way, oh God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. 
Glory, 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 glory. Yes, yes. Glory to God, glory to God. Have your way, O oh God. You're awesome. You're an awesome God, yes. You're an awesome God. He is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. Come on, church. Just forget about yourself. We don't have no order of service. We just led by the Holy Ghost. Just jump in the river. Open your mouth and begin to give Him praise. Come on and love on Him right now. Just pour your hearts out to him. Yeah. Come on, open your mouth and give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Yes. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Uh, you're an awesome God. Awesome God, you are awesome, awesome God. Yes, we give you praise, we give you glory tonight. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. I feel the presence of God all around us tonight. If you can feel his anointing, if you can feel his presence, let me hear from you. Someone's being healed right on the lower center of your stomach, right? I mean, right around your navel area, like right below it. The power of God is flowing into your stomach. You're being healed by the power of the living Christ. Jesus is alive. He is alive. He is the same yesterday today and forever someone was healed on the lower stomach right down the center of your stomach on the lower part there you're completely healed by the power of God you've been having sharp pains but it's gone right now you're an awesome God come on and help me praise him you're an awesome God you're an awesome God you're an awesome God. Mighty God, mighty God. You are holy. You are holy. Glorious. You are faithful. Your mercy is in your hearts. Jehovah. No one else like you. You're an awesome God, sing it, you're an awesome God, listen, I'm telling you, someone was completely healed in the right eye, I just can't get away from it, someone was completely healed in the right eye in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone was completely healed in the right eye. I just got to move with the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> when the Spirit of God's moving like this, you don't have to try to get me to pray or call out your request. Just believe God. Exercise your faith. The anointing is here. The presence of God is here. Jesus is right here. The power of the Holy Ghost is here. Just tell Him about your trouble. Don't try to get me to, don't try to direct me. Let the Holy Ghost direct me. The Spirit of God's here. He's healing people right now. But someone's completely healed in the right eye. Someone is completely healed in the right eye. Check that right eye real good. You're completely healed by the power of God. Someone with a deaf left ear popped open as well. And also someone was healed the lower part of their stomach. You're completely healed by the power of God. The power of God is here for miracles. Just receive it. You're an awesome God. You know, you know, you know what we try to do? 
I know some people misunderstand and they think, oh, he's harsh, he's just ignoring our prayer request. No, I'm not ignoring your prayer request. My job as a pastor and a teacher to the body of Christ is to help you grow up in your faith and teach you how to exercise your own faith, to teach you that God is interested in hearing from you. God don't always want you going through other people for your prayer request. It's okay to join faith together and believe God, but we've got to grow up in our faith and learn to call on God for ourselves. Are you listening to me? There's nothing wrong with asking people to pray for you, but you've got to learn to trust God. You've got to grow in your faith and have confidence that God is listening to you. Not just that he's listening to the pastor, God's listening to you. He's interested in what you have to say. That's why the apostle Paul said, Christ lives in me. Jesus lives in you. He want to have a personal relationship with you. He want to have that personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. He wants you to pour your heart out to him. He is listening. He is right there with you right now. Just pour your heart out to him. Tell him exactly what it is that you need, my friend. He's right there. He's listening to you. The power of God is here. You're an awesome God. Come on, talk to him. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. You're a prayer answering God. You're a prayer answering God. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are tonight. Prayer answering God, you are. You're a prayer answering God tonight. Yes, you are. Give a shot of love and the You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God You're an awesome God You're an awesome God Someone, listen Someone is being healed Right around the chest Right, right around the right chest area The Spirit of God is healing you I just felt the Holy Ghost Taking pain from out of your body Right around the right chest, the Holy Ghost is healing you. I felt it. I felt it. You are healed by the power of God. Listen, the power of God's moving. Begin to check your bodies. You, you don't have to wait for me to call it out, but begin to check your bodies right now. The power of the living God is here. Someone was healed in the right chest. I mean, you were having pains in there, but it's gone. The Holy Ghost have just completely healed you. You're an awesome... God. Come on. You're an awesome. You're an awesome God tonight, Jesus. Come on, help me give him praise. Open your mouth and talk to him. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God tonight. You're an awesome God. 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 Yes, you're an awesome God. 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 Awesome God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome, you're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. Sing it. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. God, sing it to him. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. You're an awesome God. 
Oh, I feel his presence here tonight. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. We love you, Lord. Mighty, mighty God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, we love you, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Mighty God. I just got to park right here. I feel the anointing. Oh, touch your people tonight, Jesus. Heal your people, I pray. Heal your people. Let the power of the resurrected Christ flow into their sick bodies. Drive out every sickness. Drive out every disease. Every devil of infirmity, I bind you. I rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. Satan, take your hands off of God, people. I rebuke cancer. I rebuke diabetes. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Be healed in your body right now. From the crown of your heads to the soles of your feet. Be healed in your body. For he said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. I rebuke the spirit of infirmity. You deaf and dumb spirit, I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. You blind devil, I rebuke him. You devil of cancer, you devil of diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Nerve damage, we rebuke it. Command it to be healed in the name of Jesus. Problems in the spine, we command you to be healed in the shoulders, in your heart, in your lungs, in your kidneys, the bladder infection. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Gum disease, gingivitis. We rebuke it. Fractured legs. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Broken bones. Heal it tonight, O oh God. Migraine headaches. Tumors in the body. We rebuke it in Jesus' name. Come on, open your mouth. Shaka Dalabadalabosa. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, saints. You have won the victory. He's not a weak God on tonight. Sing it. Hallelujah. You want it all. You have won it all for me death could not hold you down you are the risen king you see it in majesty you are the risen king sing it church hallelujah yeah. You have won the victory. Come on, church. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Turn it off. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. You see it. You see it in majesty. You are the risen King. Sing it to him tonight. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Mighty God you are tonight. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. You see it in majesty. You are the risen King. Come on, sing it to him. Hallelujah, mighty God you are. You have won the victory. 
Come on, church. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. You're seated in majesty. You are the risen king. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. You have won the victory. We love you tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. You want it all. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. You are the risen king. You're seated in majesty, mighty God. Listen, someone's being healed right on the, listen, someone is being healed right on the left side of the neck, right on the left side of your neck, the spirit of the living God, just release the power of God in that part of your body. Begin to turn your neck and move it around. You'd notice you are healed by the power of God. Receive your miracle. Come on. The Holy Ghost is revealing this to me. Someone is being healed right here on the left side of your neck. I mean you are being completely healed by the power of God. Begin to move your neck around. Receive your miracle tonight. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle right now. I mean the power of God's right there. Take it, saints. Take it. The power of God is here. Be healed in that neck, on the left side of your neck, be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. The power of God's here for miracles. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Mighty God you are. You are the risen King. You're seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Hallelujah. Mighty God. You have won the victory. Mighty God you are. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. We love you, Jesus. You're seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Hallelujah. We love you. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. Mighty God. You are the risen King. You're seated in majesty. You are the risen King. For you are great. Come on, church. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Come on and help me worship him tonight. There is no one else like you. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. 
There is no one else like you. You deserve the glory. You deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name because you deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name for you are great come on church you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great for you are great come on you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you deserve the glory and you deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name because you deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name for you are great come on you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you deserve the glory and you deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name because you deserve the glory and the honor listen someone else someone else is being healed on the right side of their chest someone else you had some type of strong sharp pains in the right side of your chest the power of God just touch you you are healed you are healed and as soon as you know you are healed type in the live chat if you're watching the rebroadcast and you receive a miracle type your healing testimony below that video let us know what God's doing for you if you are healed, I want you to begin to check your bodies right now because I feel an anointing for miracles. I feel an anointing for healing to take place. If you have received a healing in your body, listen, let us know. Don't keep it to yourself. A lot of people lose their miracles because they're ashamed to testify. Jesus said, didn't I heal 10 lepers? Where are the nine? How come only one came back to give glory to God? There is no one else like you, for you are great. Come on, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Oh, come on and help me give him praise. Come on, church. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on and help me praise Him. Hallelujah. 
Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and bless him. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kandalaba Shata. Hallelujah. I see some people are testifying. Some people are being healed. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Jesus is the healer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on and give him praise. Hallelujah. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say yes. Glory, 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 glory. Mighty God. Glory, glory, glory. Mighty, mighty God. Oh, somebody tell him yes. Tell the Lord yes. Tell the Lord yes. Mighty God, mighty God, let the church say yes. Say yes. Come on, church. Say yes. Come on, tell him yes, somebody. Say yes. Yes. My God. Come on and tell the Lord yes. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Let the church say yes. Come on, church. Say yes. Come on, tell him yes. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Glory to God. I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost. Shout alabaha. Glory. What's that? Okay. Someone by the name of Cain. I'm healed on the right side. It's been a while since I've had the sharp pain, but now you are healed. Someone else. The right side of my chest is healed from pain. Praise God. Someone else said the left side of my neck is healed. Praise God. Another person. Telly, I am healed in the chest. Thank you. Praise God. Somebody tell the Lord yes. Come on, tell him yes. Let the church say yes. <laughs> say yes. Come on, church. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Yeah, 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 yes. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Come on, somebody put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. Come on and help me give a praise tonight. I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost blowing here. I feel a mighty wind. I feel a mighty wind blowing. I feel some more miracles are beginning to happen right now. I feel some more miracles are beginning to happen. I feel more healings are taking place. Come on, saints, receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. We release the power of the resurrected Christ in your sick body. We release it in your body right now. I feel the anointing for miracles. I was about to try to move, but I can't. I feel that anointing. I feel some devils are being run off. Now listen, someone's being healed right in the left shoulder. 
someone's being healed right in the left shoulder, you're being completely healed. Begin to swing that, begin to swing your left hand around. You are healed in the left shoulder. Lift your hands all the way up. You are healed. There's a wind blowing. There's a wind blowing. There's a wind blowing. There's a healing wind blowing tonight, tonight, tonight. Say yes. Come on, church. Say yes. Say yes. Mighty God. Come on. Let the church say. Come on, church. The power of God. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Demons are beginning to back up. Demons are beginning to back up. Demons are beginning to back up. Spirits of infirmities. Devils of blindness. Deaf and dumb spirits. Demons of cancer. Demons of paralysis. Demons of spinal trouble. Those devils are on the run tonight. Somebody tell the Lord yes tonight. Come on, somebody. Come on, give him praise. Miracles are happening here. I feel an anointing from the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory, glory, glory. Shandalaba. Who's that? Lisa. Lisa Lewis. The left side of my neck is healed. I had pressure in it since September 2016. And at this moment, I feel no pressure. Oh, come on, somebody help me. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Mighty God, mighty God. I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost. I feel the wind. 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 I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost. Say yes. Say yes. Come on, church. Tell him yes. Yes. Tell him yes. Receive your miracle. Come on. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Someone's in someone in the right knee. You're being healed right now by the power of God. Stand up and begin to jump on it. Begin to jump on it. Put it to the test. The power of God just went into someone's right knee. A miracle is happening here. Miracles are happening. Miracles. Shakarababasa. Rondolobokosha. Let the wind of the Holy Ghost let it blow, 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 let the healing wind of the Holy Ghost let it blow, God. Let it blow, let it blow, let it blow. Glory to God, miracles are happening. Come on, check your body. I feel that anointing. I feel the anointing for miracles. Someone in the left shoulder, I can't get away from it. You're being completely healed by the power of God. You're being completely healed by the power of God. You're being completely healed. Come on, just exercise your feet. Expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, come on, give it everything you got. Shakaraman halabasa. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. I feel miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. He's able. God is able to do just what he said. This is for somebody he will do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every pro. What's that? Miracles are happening here. What's, slow down. What's that one? Tracy? Tracy Gatonga. My left shoulder has been healed in the mighty name of Jesus. It's been aching since 2014 for five years i have received my miracle oh come on and help me give him praise i get excited when i see the power of god i work he is able god is able and god is able to do just what he said he would do he's gonna fulfill he's gonna fulfill every promise to you never give up don't give up on God. Guess what? Because he won't give up on you. Because he is able. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, church. Oh, he's able. He's able. Oh, oh. Listen, I got to say this. 
I know, I know people may wonder why on earth does Pastor Sean sing that song so much? I'll tell you why. Me and my wife, man, we were just, we were under one of the most severest attack ever in our lives. And we went to this church service to just go sit in and celebrate with a pastor who was celebrating his anniversary. And this anointed young woman got up to sing. And that was the, trust me, we needed to hear that, those words right there. She sung, he's able, and I tell you what, we got our breakthrough in that meeting. That's why I sing that song so much. Because I was at the end of my rope when I heard it. And we got a breakthrough. I'm telling you, we got a breakthrough. We got a breakthrough. So I got to sing it to you. Sing, God is able. Sing it. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Because he's able. Oh, sing it to him. Oh, oh, he's able. He's able. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, sing. God is able. Sing it, church. God is able to do just what he said. Someone said their sister is on life support. Your sister by the name of Opal Thompson. Listen, come on saints, let's join our faith together and pray for Opal Thompson on tonight. She is on life support. Father, we pray for Opal Thompson. Give her a miracle in the name of Jesus. Give Opal a miracle. There is no case too hard for you, God. Your word says, for with God. Absolutely nothing should be impossible. We rebuke the spirit of death. We speak life into Opal's body. We speak life into Opal's body. We speak life, God. Bring her from off of that sick bed. You said call for the elders of the church and let them anoint them with oil. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. Raise Opal up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Give her a miracle. Give her a miracle. Take her from her life support. Satan, loose her body in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off of that woman. Take it off. We rebuke the spirit of death. We speak life. We declare she shall live and not die. She shall live and not die to declare the works of God. We speak life. Let the power of the Holy Ghost flow into her body and raise her up of that bed of affliction. Take her off life support. Bring glory to the name of Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Shaka yeah, God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do, mighty God. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't up on you. Who's that? Who's that? Hamil Demente Agradecida. Pastor Sean, this is Lourdes. Oh, this is Lourdes. Wonderful partner from New York. Okay. Your mom had heart failure and it's very sick. It's okay. Let's let's pray for Lourdes. It's one of our one of one of the longest partners we've had. Her mom is sick. Let's pray for let's pray for Lourdes. Mom. Father, in the name of Jesus, we join our faith with Lourdes. We pray for her mother who suffered from heart failure. Give her a miracle. Give her a miracle. We rebuke that heart problem in Jesus' name. We rebuke that heart problem in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it. We rebuke it. You know, I feel an anointing here. Whatever it is you believe in God for, just put it up. I want to pray for it right now. I may not be able to call it all out, but just put it up there. The Holy Ghost sees it. 
I pray for your miracle. I pray for your healing in the name of Jesus. Yeah, he's able. Sing it, because he's able. He's able. Come on, I want to hear it. He's able. He's able. Come on, church. He's able. He's able. I pray for your mom. I pray for I pray for every prayer request that's coming up on this screen. I join my faith with you. I join my faith with you. I pray for salvation in your household. I pray for I lift up every need, every problem before God. I join my faith for every prayer request that's up on this screen. Me and Pastor Amy join our faith with you. We rebuke sickle cell. We rebuke acid reflux, heartaches, tumor in the brain. We rebuke it, stomach problems, healing in your body from chronic pain. We rebuke it in Jesus' name. We rebuke every sickness, every disease, every need, every financial struggle. Meet the need, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Shandalabasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sing it. He's able. Oh, because he's able. Come on. He's able. He's able. He's able. Sing it, church. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Come on. Because he's able. 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 Our God is able. He's able tonight. He's able. He's able. Shaka Nalaba Nalaba Saya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's able. He's able. He's able. I pray for you, God. I pray for y'all's marriage tonight. I see those requests. I pray over your marriages that God would turn things around. We pray for restoration, healing in marriages right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Financial struggles. We pray God bring it to a close. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your children. A lot of people are requesting prayer for their children. I was a backslider. I was away from God as a young man. And my mama prayed me back into the kingdom. God, God, we join our faith for those young people tonight. For the children of your saints. No matter how young or old. We pray for their salvation tonight. Bring deliverance. Set them free from the captivity of the devil. From the strong grip of the devil. Break the enemy's grip off of their children tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Mighty God, mighty God. He's the mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Glory to God. I feel the anointing of God is here. He's able. He's able. He's able. Keep playing. I don't want to break the flow. But listen, saints, I want to give you an opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom of God. Come on, just stay in the flow. The anointing of God is here. I don't want to be too long here because I got to preach the word of God to you on tonight. But you can visit us. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give to sow a seed into the kingdom of God. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. All of those sites are secure paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries you can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries PO Box 
1-800-711-7442. Carrollton, Texas, 75011-7442. You know what happens when we give. Jesus said, when you give, it's coming back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. We believe the scriptures. God said, I'll open unto you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes and he will not destroy the fruit of your ground. And all nations of the earth will call you blessed for you will be a delightsome land says the Lord glory to God glory to God mighty God mighty God father bless the offerings of your people on tonight honor their seeds honor their love gifts honor their donations honor what they are bringing before you tonight honor it God bring increase into the lives of your people bring increase supernatural increase let the blessing of Abraham come on your people you said Christ became a curse for us because the Bible says curses everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ bless your people bless them beyond measure God, if it wasn't for you, some of us wouldn't be here tonight. God, it's you that levels the playing field. Bring your people out of financial debt and bondage and struggle. Bring it to a close in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the Spirit of God's talking to me. Many of you, you're about to see some serious breakthroughs coming into your life, into your finances. You're about to see serious breakthroughs. It's all through the Bible. God blessed his people. He honored them. Excuse me. There's always that season where God's people struggle, but there is a season where God brings them out, where God steps in and turn things around. Job had lost everything he had, but the Bible says at the end, the Bible says God blessed the latter end of Job's life twice as much as what he had before. God will give you double for your trouble. We serve a merciful God, a compassionate God. He cares about you. He cares about your day-to-day -day needs. He cares about every facet of your life and my life. He does care. He loves you with an everlasting love and he's making a way for you right now. Bless your people on tonight. Bless your people on tonight. Bless your people on tonight. He is able. He is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able, oh, 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 he's able, he's able, oh, 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 he's able, he's able, he's able. We are getting ready to go into the Word of God. This is my message tonight, what to do when your back is against the wall. What to do when your back is against the wall. What to do? You're about to find out tonight because in this message I'm going to show you something in scripture that me and my wife apply to our lives when things get, when our backs really get up against the wall. There's a strategy in the Bible you apply the strategy it's in the Word of God and a breakthrough happens it's not magic it's simple obedience to the revelation of God 
minister to your people tonight as we get ready to go into the Word of God. Those people under the sound of my voice tonight whose backs are against the wall, answer them tonight. Show them a winning strategy. One word from God will turn everything around. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say a good amen. Glory to God. Now listen on tonight, I'm talking about what to do when your back is against the wall. What to do when your back is against the wall. And I want to take you into the book. I want to take you into the book of Daniel chapter 2. I want to take you tonight into the book of Daniel chapter 2. What to do when your back is against the wall. There are winning strategies all through this Bible. When you do certain things, it triggers a reaction. It doesn't, it, listen now, keep this in mind. You can't formulate God. You're not gonna put God in a box. I'm just showing you this is one of the things that we apply in our lives when we are faced with a crazy situation and we've seen results, I mean supernatural results. God steps in, takes over, and turn things around. Now watch this. I want to take you into the book of Daniel chapter 2. So the Bible says in verse 1, One night during the second year of his reign, Nebuchadnezzar had such disturbing dreams that he could not sleep. So he called in his magicians, these are his witchcraft workers, and because Daniel also worked in the palace, Daniel was among the wise men, Daniel was in a magician, Daniel was full of the Holy Ghost and full of the word of God. But the Bible says he called in his magicians, his enchanters, the sorcerers and astrologers, and he demanded that they tell him what he had dreamed as they stood before the king. Now can you imagine this? The king had a dream. He is not telling them what he dreamt. <laughs> and he said, I want you to tell me what I dream and then give me the interpretation. Now that's asking some tough stuff. It sounds completely, how would I say this? It sounds foolish and unreasonable. That's the word I was looking for. It sounds unreasonable. And to a certain degree, it is unreasonable. He said, I have had a dream that deeply troubles me, and I must know what it means. Now, these kings didn't play games. It, they, listen, this, they, this was not a democracy. The, whatever the king said, it happened. <laughs> there was no Congress or the Senate to fight and squabble over it. When the king made a statement, it happened. All right? This, the way it, this, this was a kingdom. This is the way it operated. Now, watch this. Then the astrologers answered the king in Aramaic, long live the king, tell us the dream, and we will tell you what it means. But the king said to the astrologers, I am serious about this. If you don't tell me what my dream was and what it means, in other words, without me even telling it to you, you'll be torn limb from limb and your houses will be turned into heaps of rubble. We're going to chop you up. And he meant it. I bet, I bet many of you will turn into some intense intercessors. <laughs> you, I tell you what, someone back get, listen, your back get against the wall, you'll find a way out. I'm telling you right now. I've been in some tight spots in my life. Hello, somebody. Now watch this. So the king said, if you don't tell me my dream without me even telling you what I dream, I'm going to hack you up. I'm going to slice you up. And I mean it. Verse 6, but now watch this. But now here's the open door because every challenge you got to understand, every challenge in your life, it's actually an opportunity for God to prove himself to be God. Without a Goliath, we wouldn't even be reading about David. Goliath was David's ticket into the palace. Goliath was David's stepping stone into promotion. 
I know you I know you trying to pray your Goliaths away. <laughs> Are you listening to me? But for every challenge, that's an opportunity for you to solve a problem and to step into an arena that otherwise you would never have access to it. That's why Thomas Edison is known as one of the greatest inventors. He invented the electric light. He solved the problem. A lot of people in the body of Christ, they want God give them something without doing something to get it. God is a supernatural God. He is a God of answers. He is a God of solutions. God knows exactly what to tell you, what to do. He knows exactly how to solve the problem. God's not at a loss. It's you and I that's at a loss at what to do. Now watch this. Here comes the reward. But verse 6 says, but if you tell me what I dream and what the dream means, listen to what the king says, I will give you many wonderful gifts and honors. Just tell me the dream and what it means. Listen, don't always run away from your troubles or your problems. Listen, Problems are there because God intend for somebody to solve it. The problem solvers are the wealthiest people on the planet today. That's why Bill Gates is a blessed man. Why? Because he solved the problem. Henry Ford, he solved the problem. What problem it is that's before you, you were trying to pray it away instead of asking God to give you an answer to solve that problem. Now watch this. So the king said, so the king said, whoever solved the problem, they are going to be blessed beyond measure. Look at what, look, listen to what King Saul said when Goliath was challenging his army for 40 days and 40 nights. King Saul said, the man who kills Goliath, I'll make him and his family house tax free in Israel. They'll never have to pay taxes again. And I'll give him great riches. I'll give him my daughter's hand in marriage. And I'll give him a night. I'll give him anything he wants. But Goliath, everyone saw Goliath as the greatest challenge that Israel had. David saw Goliath as an opportunity for promotion. Help me, somebody. I said, David saw Goliath as a stepping stone into another level of life. What situation that is before you that have your back against the wall, don't pray it away, but ask God to give you a solution to that problem because behind every Goliath, there is a palace waiting on you. I dare you to open your mouth and say, bring it on. I'm ready for my promotion. I'm ready for my breakthrough. I'm ready to go to the next level. I'm ready to tap into something supernatural. Somebody shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. There I feel the Holy Ghost. Now watch this. Now watch this. So this is a big problem. And the king said, if you tell me, I'm going to blow your mind at the blessings. So listen to verse 7 now. They said again, please, your majesty, tell us the dream, and we will tell you what it means. By this time, they're about to set this king off. The king replied, I know what you are doing. You are stalling for time because you know I am serious when I, with what I say. If you don't tell me the dream, you are doomed. Man, I'd have been them broke out in the prayer. So you have conspired to tell me lies, hoping I will change my mind. But tell me the dream, and then I'll know that you can tell me what it means. Now, this is where a lot of church people are. Because there are problems on the left. There are problems on the right. There are problems in families. There are all kind of problems that need answers, that need solutions. And in verse 10, the church people in the church, not everybody, but some people in the church sound just like these astrologers. And the astrologers replied to the king, no one on earth can tell the king his dream. And no king, however great and powerful, 
has ever asked such a thing of any magician, enchanter, or astrologer. The king's demand is impossible. That's what these men had on their mind. They said it's impossible. Thomas Edison said it's not impossible to create electric light. I'll take electricity and I'll make electric light out of it. I'll solve a problem that's in the whole earth. Are you ready to go to the next level? I'm preaching to some problem solvers tonight. I'm preaching to somebody that's about to break through. I'm preaching to somebody that's about to get an answer to prayer. I'm preaching to somebody that's about to get a solution. Your whole life is about to be changed by the power of the Holy Ghost. You want a well transfer? You got to solve a problem. I dare you to open your big mouth and say, I'm about to solve a problem. Shout yes. I feel like running tonight. Hallelujah. Glory. Now watch this. So listen to what they said. They said, listen, king. Verse 11. The king's demand is impossible. No one except the gods can tell you your dream. And they do not live here among people. Well, they were wrong. Daniel wasn't in this meeting with these men. Daniel was a part of the king's wise men, but Daniel wasn't there. Now watch this. Because God was with Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God was with those men. So listen to verse 12. Because they're telling the king, it's impossible. I don't like to be around people who talk negative like that. Don't tell, help me preach a minute. Don't tell me it's impossible. Because my Bible says in Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. For with God all things are possible. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. My God, my God, the angel said to Mary in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, for with God, nothing, somebody shout nothing, somebody shout nothing, shall be impossible. I feel the Holy Ghost. Now watch this. So these men are coming up with a bunch of excuses. Excuse me. The king was furious when he heard this. Now watch this. Now you're going to see why I'm talking about what to do when your back is against the wall. Because I know I'm preaching to some people whose back are against the wall right now. Listen to this. The king was furious when he heard this. And he ordered that all the wise men of Babylon be executed, including Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And because of the king's decree, men were sent to find and kill Daniel and his friends. They were sent to us. They were sent to wipe him out, kill him. When Arioch, the commander of the king's guard, what's, what, what's this fellow running to favor? When Arioch, the commander of the king's guard, came to kill them, he came to kill them. Daniel handled the situation with wisdom and discretion. Discretion and wisdom will save your life. Daniel's back is against the wall. The man came to assassinate Daniel. But God, he gave Daniel favor with this man. God will give you favor with the judge. God will give you favor with people that can wipe you out with the stroke of a pen. Somebody shout, give me favor. I feel this tonight. Somebody shout, give me favor. Give me favor. Give me favor. Give me favor. Because favor will buy you more time. Favor will cause you to live longer. Favor will cause you to get what you don't even deserve. Somebody shout favor. Hallelujah. My God. Now watch this. Glory, glory, glory. So Daniel handled the situation 
with wisdom and discretion. Some of us need wisdom. Who would say, Pastor Sean, I need more time. Come on here. I feel the Holy Ghost talking to somebody. I feel the Holy Ghost talking to somebody. Do you need more time? Do you need more time? Who am I preaching to tonight? Your back is against the wall. You need more time for the situation to work out. If you need more time, shout God, give me more time. Give me more time. Give it to me. Give it to me in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Now watch this. So he asked Ariok, why has the king issued such a harsh decree? So Ariok told him all that had happened. Daniel went at once to see the king and requested more time to tell the king what the dream meant. I'm preaching to somebody tonight. You need more time. They want to cut your electricity off. They want to evict you out of your house. They want to take your car. But come on, somebody. Call and ask for more time. Tell them you need more time because the God that you serve, he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. In 1 Samuel chapter 11, there was a king by the name of Nahash. He threatened the people of God and the people of God said to him, give us more time give us seven days and if nobody come to rescue us then you can eliminate us ah but when they said seven god's air perk up because seven is god's 911 somebody shout seven give me seven days god all he needs is a little more time to give you the breakthrough to give you the miracle God allowed you to be in this situation to prove that he is God and beside him there is no other so when he brings you out and give you the miracle and give you the breakthrough you will not owe the glory to no man you will only owe it to God someone shout yes Shout yes, shout yes, I need more time, I need more time, I need one more day, all Daniel asked for was one more day, why in the world would Daniel ask for one more day, because he trusted in the Lord his God, God had never failed him, God had never let him down. I'm preaching to a group of people tonight. Your back is against the wall. You don't know which way to turn. But I'll tell you what to I'll tell you what to do. David said, I look to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help, it comes from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keep it deep, he doesn't slumber, nor does he sleep. He'll come through in the 11th hour. Shout yes, shout he's able, shout he's able, shout he's able. He said to Jeremiah, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Someone shout and help me praise him. I need more time. I've been in that. I've been in that place where we needed more time. We needed more time. About 12 months ago, our backs were against the wall. We were running out of time. But we prayed. We stood on the word of God. And God gave us seven months more. He gave us seven months more. God is able. Joshua was running out of sunlight to get the victory. 
and Joshua stood in the presence of God and said, God, I command the sun to stand still. I command the moon to hold its peace and not move another second, another inch, another millimeter. And the Bible says the whole universe came to a standstill for 24 hours until Joshua got the victory over his enemies. We needed more time and God gave us seven months more and at the end of seven months he gave us a breakthrough he gave us a miracle he gave us a turnaround I dare you to open your mouth and say the harder the battle the sweeter the victory the bigger they come the harder they fall the harder the test the greater the triumph somebody shout yes can I get a witness tonight can I get a witness shout yes shout yes shout yes shout yes shout yes yes. I feel the Holy Ghost they were about to annihilate the Jews and Esther said I'm willing to risk my life and go before the king I'm going against tradition I'm going against diplomacy I'm going against protocol sometimes you got to be willing to take a risk after you call on God you got to take a step of faith my God when she stood before the king life and death was in the power of his hands but instead of him ordering Esther to be executed he stretched out the golden scepter she gained favor with the king God is able to give you favor with people in authority shout he's able he's able I feel God is sitting on the edge of his throne tonight letting you know that I'm able I make a way when there seems to be no way my God somebody shout he's able hallelujah glory to God now watch this now watch this so the Bible says he went in verse 16 to see the king and requested more time to tell the king what the dream meant Daniels I don't need you to tell me anything just give me more time to get on my face and seek God I'm about to give you that strategy hang tight then Daniel went home he's a smart man and told his friends Hananiah Mishael and Azariah what had happened he urged them to ask the God of heaven to show them his mercy by telling them the secret what the king's dream meant so that they would not be executed along with the other wise men of Babylon. So what Daniel and his friends decided to do, and me and my wife have done this on many occasions, they stayed up. They fasted even from sleep. They stayed up and in time, you going to go to bed and you about to get executed the next day? You bet I'm staying up praying. I'm going to get a hold of God one way or the other. His word says, call unto me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open for everyone that asketh receiveth and to him who seeks find and to the person who knocks the door shall be open. Somebody shout open, open, open. So they stayed up all night. They prayed. They cried out to God. They worship. They call out to God. I remember me and my wife was in a tough situation. My God, our backs were against the wall. I said, we can't go to bed tonight. We're going to have to call on God until we get a miracle. 
and about 2.30 in the morning, I just got revelation from the Holy Ghost that somebody was on their way to knock on the door within moments. Somebody knocked on the door at 2.30 in the morning and they said, Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, God had you on our hearts and they handed something to us that solved the problem. God is a miracle working God. He is a prayer answering God. How bad do you want it? Are you willing to pay the price? Are you willing to lose sleep until you hear from God? Are you willing to fast and pray until you get the answer? My God, we called on God until somebody couldn't sleep. They had to come to our aid because God is a prayer answering God. He is a miracle working God. Someone shout yes, shout yes. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Someone's being healed, right? Listen, someone's someone's being someone's being healed, right? Don't, someone's being healed, right? That's it. Keep flowing. Someone's being healed, right on the right side of their stomach. Someone's being healed, right on the right side of your stomach. You are having some sharp pains there. You are being healed right now. Just put your hands there. Receive it. Receive that miracle right now. In the name of Jesus. On the right side of your stomach, you're being healed. I rebuke that pain in the name of Jesus. I'm going to get back to the word, but I got to take care of this. I rebuke that. I rebuke it. Pain in the right side of your stomach. Come out, devil. Loose them and let them go. Take your hands off of God's property. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Now watch this. Got to get back to this word. Now watch this. So he urged them to ask the God of heaven to show them his mercy by telling them the secret what the king dream meant to give them the dream and, and the interpretation without having no natural information so that they would not be executed along with the other wise men of Babylon. I love verse 19. This is someone's night for a miracle. Verse 19 says, That night, go read a God. Don't tell me God ain't real. That night, the secret was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel prays the God of heaven. God gave Daniel a vision of the king's dream and the interpretation of Somebody shout, breakthrough. Someone shout, breakthrough. Shout, breakthrough. Someone type it, breakthrough. The answer came. The Bible says, that night, that night, that night, that night, God revealed the king's dream and the interpretation. My God, listen to what the Bible says. I feel the Holy Ghost. Then Daniel prays the God of heaven. And he said, praise the name of God forever and ever. For he has all wisdom and power. He controls the course of world events. He removed kings and he set up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. He revealed deep and mysterious things and he knows what's in the darkness. Though he is surrounded by light, I thank and praise you, God of my fathers, for you have given me wisdom and strength. You have told me what we ask of you and have revealed to us what the king demanded. And the Bible says, Daniel went in and told the king what his dream meant and told him the dream itself and the interpretation thereof. And when King Nebuchadnezzar heard what Daniel said, he threw himself down before Daniel 
and worship him and commanded his people to offer sacrifices and burn sweet incense before him. Then the king said, truly your God is the greatest God of gods and Lord over kings. He reveals mysteries for you have been able to reveal this secret. Then the king appointed Daniel to a high position and gave him many valuable gifts and made Daniel ruler over the whole province of Babylon. Daniel was next in charge. Daniel was the second greatest man in Babylon. When your back is against the wall, stay up all night and cry out to God because as sure as night follows day, God will, God will, I say God will, He'll give you an answer. He'll give you a breakthrough. He'll give you the solution. He'll make a way where there seems to be no way. Even when I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil because God is with me. Somebody shout yes. Shout yes. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked and my enemies, even my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. Somebody shout and give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, somebody. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is a mighty God. Glory to 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 God. He's awesome. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. Oh, he's an awesome God. My God is awesome. This is for somebody. My God is awesome. Come on, church. He can move mountains. Come on. Keep me in the valley. He'll hide me from the rain. Sing it with me, church. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. So bless his holy name. My God, sing it, church. My God is awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's mighty. Come on, church. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. Come on. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's great. He's great. Come on, church. He's great. He's great. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Deliverer, come on, church. Deliverer. 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 He's awesome. He's awesome. Sing it. My God is awesome. Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation. By his stripes I am healed. My God is awesome. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Come on, church. So praise his holy name. He is awesome. My God is awesome. He is awesome. Awesome. He's awesome. He's mighty. Come on. He's mighty. He's mighty, he's mighty, 
He's mighty. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's great. Come on, church. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's awesome. He's awesome. Deliverer. Come on. Deliverer. 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 He's awesome. Father, I pray for your people tonight whose backs are against the wall. I thank you for the answer. It's being released. Thank you for answering your people tonight through the word of God. Giving them direction. Showing them what to do. You are the same God who gave Daniel a solution to the king's problem. You haven't changed. You are still the same yesterday, today, and forever, God. Thank you for the victory tonight. Thank you for the victory in the lives of your people whose backs were against the wall, who were put in a tough situation, in a tight place. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for working a miracle. Thank you for turning it around, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's awesome. Deliverer, deliverer, deliverer. Come on. Deliverer, deliverer. He's awesome. He's awesome. Provider, come on. Provider, 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 provider. He's awesome. He's awesome. Most important thing tonight is the salvation of souls. You may be watching this broadcast and have never given your life to Jesus. When Jesus came preaching, he said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. That means turn away from sin, turn away from wickedness. It's time to turn to the true and living Christ. He loves you. That's why he died on Calvary Cross that you might receive forgiveness of sins. He said, whoever comes to me, I will in no way turn him away. Tonight is your night. And without any further hesitation, I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood tonight. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the son of the living God. You died on Calvary Cross for me. You were buried in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead with all power and authority in your hands. This night, I surrender my life to you. I surrender all to you tonight Jesus tonight moving forward from now on you are my Lord you are my Savior I turn my back on the world the flesh and the devil to serve the true and living God all to thee my blessed Savior I surrender all Come on, sing it to him tonight. Oh, I surrender all. He's a mighty God tonight. Oh, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender. 
I surrender all. Oh, I surrender all. Oh, I surrender all. All to thee. All to thee, my blessed Savior. Listen, if you prayed that prayer, your sins have been forgiven. Let me and Pastor Amy be the first to say to you, my friends, welcome into the kingdom of God. Listen, we love you so much. Listen, if you've just surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, don't put it till I tell you. If you've just surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus, I want you to type in this live chat right now I've just surrendered my life to Jesus we wanna we wanna say welcome into the kingdom of God if you've already surrendered your life to Jesus you don't have to get saved every week <laughs> amen of course if you mess up repent but I'm talking about people who are not saved people who are away from God if you surrender your life to Jesus tonight I want you to type in the live chat. We want to welcome you because Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me and of my words, I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my Father and the holy angels. Type in the live chat. Acknowledge it right now. Acknowledge it right now. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. There are Oh, I surrender all. Come on, church. And all to thee, my God bless you, Elaine. Hi. God bless you, Victoria. God bless you, June. God bless you, Shabazz. God bless you, Levi, Salalak. God bless you, oh, Trisha, Dora. God bless you. God bless you, Rodney. Lots of people coming into the kingdom tonight. God bless you, Darnell. Oh, to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. God bless you, Gwendolyn. I surrender all. Oh, I surrender all. God bless you, Ignacio. Oh, I surrender all, all to thee, and all to thee, my God bless you, Alicia. Darth, Dorothea Knox, Vina. I surrender tonight, oh, I. Epiphany, God bless you. I surrender all tonight, Karen. I surrender all. And all to thee, my God bless you, Michelle. God bless you, Esther. I surrender. This for you. I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Since your presence came and changed me, I won't go back. Sing it. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be and Since your presence came and changed me I won't go back, sing it! I won't go back, I can't go back To the way it used to be God bless you, Kadisha. Never going back, sing it! I'm never going back I'm Never going back. This is for you. Never going back to the way. I'm never going back. Sing. Never going back. I'm never going back. I'm never going back to the way. I won't go back. Sing. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Since your presence came and changed me I won't go back I won't go back 
I can't go back to the way it used to be Since your presence came and changed me Sing it, I won't go back I won't go back I can't go back Listen, you know we love all of you, right? Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you so much. We don't take you for granted at all. And I want to give you an invitation to check out our new channel. It's called Anointed Inspiration. We're doing things a little differently on there. I want you to check it out. Copy it and paste it several more times. I want you to check out our new channel and subscribe to it tonight. We're about to close, so we are leaving right now. So I want you to go to that new channel and subscribe to it and share it with your friends and family members because I believe it's going to be a blessing in your life. I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back. God bless all of you. Listen, God bless all of you. Let's remain my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. Just know we love you. We care deeply about you. And we will see you again on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And a big blessing to all of those who were saved and who received their miracles tonight. And if you did not get your miracle tonight, it doesn't mean that God had passed you by. Don't let go of your faith. Hang in there. Your miracle is on the way. I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way. Face it again. Since your presence came and changed me. You should have that copy, son. Come on. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Since your presence came. I won't go back. Sing it. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way. Oh, we love you all too, Bacola. God bless all of you. We love you. We love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it is.